It's 1989, the first day of fourth grade. I just moved here two days ago, though, so I'm sitting in the back, afraid. I'm trying to stay looking forward, trying to remain unseen. 25 years later, I'm standing here. Madam Toastmaster, dignitaries, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. Things change. See, that fourth grade teacher walked in and said, Children, Dr. Ward's coming in in a moment. And I'm sitting back here going, oh, A doctor, I'm expecting a white coat, a stethoscope, maybe some glasses. He's going to ask us if we ate our veggies. And I did, so I'm very excited. I'm sitting there, okay. All of a sudden, this mountain of a man comes in, over six foot tall, dressed head to toe in the costume of Alf. <laughs> Some of you remember who Alf was. <laughs> the guinea pig alien who ate cats big in the late 80s. To a fourth grader, this is scary. This is not normal, seeing a grown man in a fur costume. So Alf, Dr. Ward, our principal, comes around to each student. How many books did you read this summer? How many books did you read this summer? How many books did you read this summer? Again, I'm sitting back here, been here two days, don't know what's going on. I didn't know there was a summer program. So he comes to me, how many books did you read this summer? And I stand, start crying, and walk out of the class. Not a very good start to fourth grade in a new state. And my head was sitting there saying, you don't need to deal with this. You can walk home. It's only a mile. You can go home right now. Nobody will know. But my heart said, you have to go back in. And I think we all have that choice. We have the choice to confront our fears and have that courage to do what you need to do. See, that speech, one month ago, I finished writing that speech. I was in California. I woke up at 2.56 a.m. I just had to finish this speech. I was inspired. And at 3.23 a.m., the earthquake hit. I was sitting there typing, and the chair just made a waving sound. Phew. I didn't know if I moved it. I didn't know what happened, but I kind of, okay, everything's stable. But that earthquake said, well, you need to finish this speech. It inspired me to finish what I started. But that earthquake also made her miss her flight. I flew home that night at 6.30 p.m. from Oakland to Fort Worth. And she was not supposed to be on that flight. I got on. I sat in 4B. 4A, young lady, I said, well, what's taking you to Texas? And she said, my husband died. We donated six of his organs, and I'm going to Texas to meet the six recipients. And I'm scared to death. This girl was 27 years old. For three hours, I sat like this. And we talked nonstop. Tears, everything came out. And when we landed, it was almost sad that it was over. So I asked her, I said, are you ready? And she said, no. And we sat there as half the plane got off. I asked her again, I said, okay, it's okay, are you ready now? She said, yes. She was re ready and willing to confront her fears. Have the courage to go face this unknown world, uncertain future. And we walked from that plane to baggage claim like we were in fourth grade, holding hands, step by step. Baggage claim, we went our separate ways. I don't know if I'll ever see her again. 
You know, and I'd sit and think. I say, I don't know if I was there for her, or was she sent there to be there for me? Because it changed me. Those three hours inspired me to do what I need to do. Because I want to get out and speak to high school kids, college kids. Help them prepare for their future. Avoid suicide. That's my mission. And again, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do well. I could try it once, fail, give up. But I'm willing to commit to it. I'm willing to face my fears. And that fear is coming up here. I need to be able to walk through that door, stand in front of you, and speak. So, whether you were a fourth grader, sitting out here crying, not knowing what to do, or that 27-year-old widow sitting on a plane, not knowing her next step, we all have been knocked down a little by life. And we have a choice. We can confront our fears and have the confidence to walk back in a room. Madam Toastmaster.